parents sound more excited. Yeah, you always gonna get slut. Yeah, right. Johnny didn't know it, but his math homework would help him to unlock the secrets of the universe. What? This doesn't tell me what hot dogs are made of. <laughs> the point is... You guys already know what it is. I am back at it again with another YouTube tutorial, you know, on how to, on how to cut a faux hawk, okay? Now, of course, yes, this is my little brother. Uh, if you guys did not know, uh, I mean, this, this is like... This is like one of the siblings that, you know, I've been cutting and, and butchering and how I finally learned how to cut hair, you know, because I was cutting his hair. But you guys already know, we're going to go ahead and brush down the hair so we can, you know, j just see what we're working with, get everything brushed down uh, and, and neat. And then we're going to go ahead and set our first ball guideline. Um, you guys are going to see why you do one side and then you go ahead and spin them and then do the other side because look how uneven this line is if i were to just go all the way around and and didn't stop and then go to the other side to try to match it it, it would have been so crooked and i would have been messed up because once you set it in you, you can't erase a line once you put it in the head so that's why you just take you know you do certain techniques that make your life easier from you know you, from, from you messing up the whole cut but right here we got um the magic clips modified you know with the balding blade on there and we're just gonna go ahead and we're just gonna clear out everything underneath the ball guideline now i like using the magic clips because it just saves time from this little liner you know what i'm saying and plus it does not dole out my small liners okay those liners those are my hitters that's something that i really don't want to dole out so that's why i kind of use this you see me right here you know turning the clipper in different directions because he has a calic right there it grows in different directions because i'm really just trying to get this whole thing bald So you guys already know what it is we're going in our with our wall seniors and we're just gonna open that blade all the way up you know we want that lever all the way open we're gonna go up about a half an inch because i want to keep my my blend tight and the reason why i want to keep my blend tight is because i don't know it just seems more blurry when your blend is tighter when you have more of a gradual blend it, it doesn't it, i don't know it just doesn't seem really something that stands out as blurry you know when you're actually looking when you're looking at it on a person i mean I mean, it'll be blurry, but I mean, it, it doesn't. To the average eye, I guess I could say. To a barber's eye, we can tell, yeah, dang, that's blurry. But I don't know what it is when, when an average person sees a tighter blend. It just has more of an eye-catching look. So that's why I'm, I'm doing more of a shorter blend. You know, it's really a short guy line. Not really, you know, I got to be careful not to go up too high, you know, when doing this. But you know what? I'm just going to make sure that we have it all even right now. That's why I'm going over it multiple times. And here we're just going to close that lever up and flick that, flick that, flick that line out. But I also realized I was like, dang, I forgot to use the shaver. So I hurry up, grab my shaver. And I did not go that close to the line. I gave, my room, gave myself some room to go ahead, go back with the liners, and uh, get that shaver line out. So that, that's why I'm using the shaver now. It's kind of because I forgot before I set in the wall senior line. Uh, with the lever open so that's why i'm just going ahead you know no big deal just make sure i don't go up too close to the uh to the line um give give some room between the shaver and then um the the uh, lever open Like I said, we're going to go ahead and grab our liners and we're going to go ahead and take that shaver line out because, yes, it's more than likely you left the line with the shaver, um, which is no big of a deal. As long as your liners are zero gapped, um, your your liners should be able to get that line right out. Um, but, yeah, like I said, I'm not trying to go up until where I made my second, second guideline with the lever open. 
you know i'm just trying to be careful and mindful of that um but um it's it's really not a big of a deal that i forgot to use the shaver first it's just you just got to be cautious not to go up too high but now we're back at it and i'm flicking with that line uh right now my lever is all the way closed i'm flicking out that um that ball guy line that i made with the liners initially um and uh, of course you guys already know i love to lever play because i don't like to go ahead and flick away make us another guy line in between and then go right back and then no it, it just i don't know i just got to do it all in one you know just clean up while i'm looking at it i can't leave it a, a line in his head then try to go back and blend it just takes me out of rhythm and i don't like all that so that's why i go ahead and lever play uh to get that line out So we're, right now, all we got is our one guard, and it's all the way over right now. We're going up another half an inch. And, you know, we really want to keep this line consistent in the same shape, you know. Um, you know, because when we made our first guy line with the liners, we made it in that curve shape. So every single guy line, I forgot to mention that with the lever open, is you want to make that curve shape every single time. You, you just really want that shape because, I mean, it, if you make a curve shape with your liners and then all your guy lines with your lever open, your one guard open, it's just straight. It's kind of going to throw off the fade and, and, and all that. Just make sure that your lines are really consistent with every single guy line that you're setting. Um, and, and make sure your guy lines are as neat as possible because if your guy lines are neat, your fade is going to be neat as well. And it's going to be more than likely the way that you want it. Alright, so right now we're just gonna go ahead debulk. I did close my lever right here. We're just gonna like, we're gonna flick away at the line. And it's not really gonna take the line out. We're just really gonna debulk it. So then when we come back with our half guard, you know, it, it'd be really easier just to, you know, take that line right out. So we're not really gonna spend too much time because I already know that the line's not gonna come out with it. So I'm just really just flicking away really quick, going around the head. Don't spend too much time on it. So right here we have the half guard and it is all the way open. Um, and again, debulking a little bit more, but then I also close it. I'm staying um, on the same side of the head, I believe. And uh, I believe now my lever is closed. Now my lever is closed, and I'm just flicking away at that line right now. And the, you should start to see the line starting to come out. And that's what you really want. Um, just, just really try to focus on that line, and don't really think about going up too high. Just really focus on taking that line out and nothing more than that that's all you want you want that line to come out then worry about everything else then you can lever play all that other stuff um but yeah i'm just really just going to do that around the head and i'll just let you guys watch
All right, so right here, I got my one and a half guard on there and it is all the way open. And right here, I'm just kind of scooping out. I'm really not trying to, you know, get it, get that line out that you guys see right there. Cause I'm probably gonna get it out with the um, one and a half guard lever closed, or I'm gonna get it out with the one guard uh, lever open and um, and just flick away at that line. Um, but right now, I'm just kind of, it's more like debulking, I guess you guys could say. Um, I just kind of, when I cut hair, I do a lot of debulking. So then when I go back with the other guards or when I close the lever, it'd be just 10 times easier to get that line out. Um, so yeah, that's basically all I'm doing right now. I'm going to tell you guys when I close the lever though. All right, like I said, I did, I did say I was going to tell you guys when I'm closing it. Now it's closed and I'm really just trying to focus on that line and just really try to get it out. Like I said, you know, if I couldn't get it out with a one and a half guard, I'm going to go ahead and get it out with the one guard. And it is all the way open. I'm just flicking away at that line. Really just trying to get that um, that line out of his head. Because I really don't want him walking around with, you know, with the line in his head. So if you can't get it out, just go ahead and go down to the most recent guard that you used. Open it all the way up. And then just flick away at that line. It should come right out. No problem at all. All right, this is the last guard I'm going to use. This is like, I don't know if this guard was really necessary, but right now it's just my two guard all the way closed. I'm just cleaning up any bulk that I saw at the top. You know, I don't know. I just felt like there was just a little bit of bulk and dark spots at the top. So I just decided to just go ahead and grab my two guard all the way closed. I was like, man, it's not going to hurt. Like, like, why not? You know, if you, if you feel like there's dark spots at the top, it won't hurt. Just it'll take one second to slap on the guard and just get it but right here we're just doing detail work you know with my thinnest shears you guys know i like to finish off with my thinnest shears hopefully you know i feel like it gets the dark spots out that i can't get with my clippers um so yeah that, that's the reason why i use my thinning shears over comb uh and i'll just let you guys watch it So you guys already know how I prepare my lineups. I go ahead and grab some rubbing alcohol, put it on a neck strip, you know, paper towel, whatever, and I just rub that across his lining. I did end up spraying a hairspray, but again, my my it, my camera just shut off on me. I, I know I'm tired of it doing that too, but you know, I did get the lining this time. I did get the lining. I got the whole lineup this time. But you guys already know uh, how I prepare my lineups. If you guys don't know, I have. You know, in my other videos, I show you guys how I prepare my lineup to get that ash effect. But, you know, I did prop up the line. I brushed it down. I just sprayed some hairspray. Nothing special. But right here, you know, we're just working, you know, from the middle. And then we're going all the way to the side just to keep that straight look. Okay, we want to make sure everything's straight. Nothing's crooked. Um, so that's why I started in the middle. And then I kind of worked my way to a certain side. And then we go ahead and... And you kind of want like a little bit of tilt when you're doing the vertical bars because if you go straight up and down when you look on it straight ahead it'll look like it's going like outwards like a little bit I don't know if you guys noticed that but when you make your vertical bar straight up and down and you look on it straight ahead it doesn't look straight you know so that's why you tilt the vertical bars just a little bit if that's how his vertical bars naturally are I wouldn't say push it back to make it you know you know at a tilted angle just go ahead and leave it like that you really don't want to push anybody back um but yeah that's a little tip you know if you can make it at a slant try to do that so then when you look on them look at them straight head on it'll look straight instead of you know bending outwards or anything like that 
but as you guys can see you see the little ash effect right there you know we're just gonna keep it crispy and all that um, but I'll let you guys just watch the rest of the lineup Alright, so you guys saw that the lineup was already crispy, but you know, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna fill it in just a tad bit, you know, because he has some light spots in his lineup, you know, not every lineup is perfect, but we did leave the front lineup alone because, I mean, it's already dark, there's no need to do that, I mean, like, that would just be a waste, but right now I just did grab some Cantu, rubbed it in my hands and put it in his hair, just to give it more of that messy, curly type look. Um, and yeah, it wasn't really nothing special. And then after this, we're going to follow, follow up with the razor. Okay, like I said, we're going to follow up with the razor. I didn't really use a razor on the front lineup, mostly because I kind of wanted to give it more of that natural but sharp look. I don't, I don't know if that makes sense, but I really just put it on the vertical bars and then his C cup, um, just a tad bit. But I mean, all really that it matters with the, uh, straight razor is make sure you keep the razor flat. And uh, now I'm just dusting off my client, you know, just um, which is my brother. I'm just making sure, you know, it's all dust off. I already put the powder, everything else in there. Um, and I mean, right now, this is the finished product. This is it right here. So if you like the cut, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think about the cut. Um, you guys already know we, we we only giving dubs out here, you know. I I want to see no L's in the comments. If you got if you got an L, you got you got to have an explanation or something, cause I felt like this cut was blurry, crispy, but you guys already know it's 360 Woods, and I'm out.